Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fulger Channel. And today, we have an important update on the tensions brewing in the South China Sea. The United States and the Philippines are raising alarm bells as China's harassment near a disputed reef intensifies. Let's dive deep into this issue and understand its implications. But before we proceed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon to stay notified of our future updates. The South China Sea, an area rich in resources and strategic significance, has been a hopped of territorial disputes for years. Recently, tensions escalated further as the United States and the Philippines accused China of increasing harassment near a disputed reef. The disputed territory in question lies within the exclusive economic zone of the Philippines, and China's actions have raised serious concerns among both regional and international stakeholders. The tensions in the South China Sea have far-reaching geopolitical implications. The United States, a key ally of the Philippines, has expressed unwavering support for its partners in the region. The U.S. views the freedom of navigation and open access to the South China Sea is vital for global trade and security. As a result, the U.S. Navy conducts regular freedom of navigation operations to challenge China's claims, further fueling tensions. To gain a comprehensive understanding, it's crucial to consider China's perspective. China claims historical ties to the South China Sea dating back centuries, and it views its actions as asserting its sovereignty and protecting its national interests. The construction of artificial islands and military outposts in the region has been a point of contention, but China maintains that these are within its rights as a coastal state. The Philippines on Wednesday accused China's Coast Guard of harassment, obstruction, and dangerous maneuvers against its vessels, after another incident near a strategic feature of the South China Sea that has become a flashpoint between them. Philippine Coast Guard boats were assisting a naval operation on June 30 when they were constantly followed, harassed, and obstructed by the significantly larger Chinese Coast Guard vessels, Philippine Coast Guard spokesperson Jay Terriela said in a tweet. It took place near the Second Thomas Shoal, a submerged reef over which the Philippines stakes a claim to sovereignty via a handful of troops who live aboard a rusty World War II-era American ship, which was intentionally grounded in 1999. But China on Thursday said the Philippine Coast Guard had intruded into its waters without permission. China claims sovereignty over almost the entire South China Sea via a nine-dash line on its maps that cuts into the Exclusive Economic Zones EEZ, of Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia. The Permanent Court of Arbitration in 2016 said that line has no legal basis. The Chinese Coast Guard vessels carried out law enforcement activities in accordance with the law to safeguard China's territorial sovereignty and maritime order. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin told a regular press conference. PCG's Terriela said the Philippine vessels had to reduce speed to prevent a collision, but Wang maintained China's actions were professional and restrained. Terriela did not say what the naval operation entailed. The Philippine military conducts regular resupply missions for the troops on the U.S. ship, the Sierra Madre, including in February, when it accused China of aggression and directing a military-grade laser out of its vessels. The shoal is located inside the Philippine EEZ. Terriella described as alarming what he said was the presence of Chinese Navy ships in the area, adding that raised greater concerns. The situation in the South China Sea has been a matter of contention for several countries, and the latest actions by China have further escalated tensions in the region. The United States and the Philippines, both important stakeholders in the area, are expressing their dissatisfaction with China's conduct, which they perceive as aggressive and provocative. The incident in question occurred near a reef that is at the center of territorial disputes between China and the Philippines. It involved Chinese vessels reportedly entering the area, 
and engaging in what the U.S. and the Philippines describe as harassment of Philippine fishing boats. Such actions have raised international concerns, with other countries closely monitoring the situation. The international community is keen on ensuring peace, stability, and adherence to international laws in the South China Sea region. Respect for international law is a cornerstone of maintaining peaceful relations among nations. The United States and the Philippines assert that any resolution to the territorial disputes in the South China Sea must be based on principles of international law, including the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea UNCLOS. China's actions in the disputed waters have raised concerns about potential coercion and intimidation tactics. The U.S. and the Philippines stand united against any attempts to exert undue pressure on smaller nations in the region. They stress the need for all parties to respect the sovereignty and rights of other nations and to refrain from any actions that undermine regional peace and stability. The situation has raised concerns about regional stability and the potential for armed conflict. With the involvement of major powers like the United States, any escalation in the region could have global ramifications. The international community is closely watching developments in the South China Sea, urging parties to resolve their disputes peacefully and in accordance with international law. The international community, including countries with a vested interest in the region, supports the call for a peaceful resolution to the South China Sea dispute. Diplomatic channels remain open for dialogue and negotiations, and the U.S. and the Philippines encourage all parties to come to the table with a genuine willingness to find common ground. The ongoing harassment incident near the disputed reef in the South China Sea has sparked concern among the United States, the Philippines, and the international community. Both nations have issued a strong warning to China and reaffirmed their commitment to regional security and stability. The call for a diplomatic resolution and adherence to international law remains at the forefront of efforts to resolve the dispute peacefully. With all parties working together towards finding common ground, there is hope that tensions in the region can be de-escalated and that a lasting resolution can be achieved through peaceful means. As the tensions in the South China Sea continue to unfold, the world holds its breath, hoping for a peaceful resolution to the disputes. We will closely monitor the developments and keep you updated. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from your channel name. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and stay informed.